that's a picture of me 35 years ago. I was in the shootout with uh with the police here. Well, when we organized the Panther Party here, uh, that was the last thing they wanted to do. Even uh, wanted to see, even though we had took the most violent, uh, crime-ridden housing project in the country, which was Desire, and turned it into probably one of the safest communities in the city of New Orleans. But nobody cared about that or the kids that we was feeding, the programs we had established. Nobody cared about that. That's all they wanted to do is just get us out. And so uh, under the pretense of serving a eviction notice, they came and raided the office. That's a hundred and what it was about 120, 130 police coming to serve a eviction notice. Come on, calm down, calm down. Anything that bought, anything that passed out here, yeah. he'll let you know. I'll be listening for him, man. Sometimes I go out and look when I hear barking, you know. Come here, Spot. Come here. Good to have a dog. Not you. Not you. Ain't nobody calling you, you big hound dog. The hurricane was good. If you look at it from the spiritual realm of God, and, and it was the handiwork of God, it was good. And we, we, we may look at it as a bad scene, but God doesn't make any mistakes. And he knows, what, he knows what we need. Don't let anxiety set in. Don't let the devil come have you full of anxiety and charging God foolishly. Amen. God is not out to do us any harm. He said he came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. And I thank God for the life this morning. And we thank him for the opportunity of being here. Amen. We don't have an electric here. We don't have any air condition. But I thank God for the breeze that he'll blow in his breath up on us. And it's not so hot up in the church this morning. Amen. And I praise the Lord. If it was hot here, I wouldn't complain. I learned not to complain. Uh, I learned that whatever state I'm in, to be contented. Oh, that's better, huh? So what happened? Yeah, the, the, the electric came back on. Yeah, the power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for the power this morning. Whoo! You're like, hey. <laughs> You're like, oh, man, I can rejoice. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, what a blessing. What a blessing to have the lights back on. Yes, indeed. First thing I done when I came out of prison, I organized the ex-offenders program. We helped at all the local schools. We cleaned up the schools. We kept the community clean. Uh, no one was ever arrested that stayed in our program. And with all this, our reward for it was that uh, they closed us down. That's when I left and went to California and, and, and I once again stayed. I stayed out there. I did Dawa work. Uh, and uh, did a lot of organizing like I always do in public housing. Got hot again. Had the FBI uh, all up on me again. You know, so I went through that again, that deja vu. I stopped the crime where I had a, a community center that I was operating. And this was all under self-sufficiency. 
back to the things that I learned in the Panther Party. You know, and that's what I've done basically all my life. Lived off of those principles. When I'm gonna give it up? When I die? You know, if I don't stand for peace and justice, how can I say that I left my grandkids, you know, a society that is based upon peace and justice? I don't want them to ever say, man, my grandfather, he wasn't about nothing. He just worked for these suckers and just and didn't do nothing to help change the condition. Uh, I don't really know them. They just came down to help us. 